Good morning. I know it's morning somewhere. Some updates here for Rule the World. So a lot has happened. Um, pretty much we remade our entire weapon system. Yes, I refactored a lot of code, made things a lot better. So now you have this um, weapon select wheel. It's not really a wheel, it's a square, but they call it a weapon select wheel. So. Um, lots of things are in the works for this game. A lot of things were holding me back. The AI system was uh, not how I wanted it to be. Um, some things are still work in progress, obviously, like that guy jumping. So right now, um, all of the enemies, they are all using... Um, oops, wrong button. <laughs> Sorry, that's a special special post-processing effect I wasn't supposed to turn on but that's all right you got to see it so the AI is much smarter now and they're using Unreal Engine's built-in EQS so you can actually see that like I can try to hide from them and no matter what they are gonna find me let me do things a bit here let's get a game is much harder. Um, they're still in easy mode. So I didn't see the uh, this down a bit. Okay. So yeah, the gore effects um, have been greatly improved. Explosions. If I can stop dying, I can show you some stuff. I blew myself up there. That's alright. We'll just restart. And the minimap has changed dramatically. So now you have access to the entire map and also your current location. Another thing, you have the shop where you can purchase things and you can buy an enemy reveal and an intel reveal. So if you see now that I've bought that, I can see over here, this is intel, this is something I need to destroy, the enemies are here. And I can still see it here in the bigger picture. So that is a traumatic improvement from what we had. Some new eight, some new enemies as well. This guy wasn't here before. Um, he's still. Some things are still work in progress. Obviously, like I said, still need to work on some things. Um, let's see. I removed the HUD from the side of the screen. Everything is on the character. So if you press reload, it'll show you your stuff. And it'll only really show up, see now I took damage, and so the health bar shows up because that's when you need to see it when you're when you've taken damage. If you have full health, it won't appear. So I guess I can show you another AI. So I'm here hiding and they will attempt to flank me here. Oh, oh no, oh no. See? They are much more intelligent. Intelligent AI. Artificial intelligence intelligence. So as soon as he gets a line of sight to me, he will fire. So this is all using um, EQS. So you can see right there those little balls that appear. That's the EQS Curie. Uh, the environmental curie system, curie. <laughs> Bit of repetitiveness, repetitiveness today, and so you'll see like a little ball will appear, and that's where he knows that ah, that he can hit me. So he'll move to that point. I think. I think that's how it works. Oh, I see. The ball is on me because he's tracking me. So the ball is curing. So there you go. The enemy is much smarter. And these were the things that was holding me back from finishing this game. So I'm still on target for a September 1st early access release on um, Steam. Let's leave this last guy so you can really see. He's like, he's trying to.
trying to sneak up on me. The problem right here, um, it's not perfect because this geometry right here is not perfect as well. So sometimes when I'm like touching it right there, it it like kind of bugs out, and so that's something I'm aware of already, and I'm on my way to fix that. I have some other priorities. So yeah, um, show you a bit more of the shop. So everything I made, um, since this is a local multiplayer game, you don't need to pause to do anything. You don't need to pause to switch weapons. You don't need to pause to access the menu. You can buy anything. You're still moving. You're still playing. And so this works with the gamepad and the keyboard. So the arrow keys or the D-pad on the controllers will allow you to play around with this menu. So you can buy more things. Yeah, and um, I think uh, all of these improvements are on a way to making this a, a released game, you know, something that people can actually play and understand. So yeah, that's, that's it for now. Still a lot coming, but that's the update for now, guys. Thank you. Awesome day.